how's it going, everybody? My name is Copix, and I'm going to be doing a tier list with all of y'all. This is a list of all the shows that I've seen. Some of these I've seen little bits of, or I've seen a lot of, but not maybe, maybe not finished. So, before we get started, I want to remind you that these are going to be special. Spoilers. So if you want to watch it, there's going to be spoilers. There's going to be little timestamps in the description so that you can skip right over it. Then you can watch it and then go right to the one that you want to see once you've finished watching it. And of course, uh, we have with us today the B O Y Z boys. We got Dumber Hello. and Dumber. <laughs> the reason why I have these guys with us is because a lot of times we will watch shows together. I'll watch it with one of them or the other or the three of us together as well as on my own. So I want a little bit of spice to the opinions on these titles. Now, I'm going to be real honest with you. This is the third time I've had to try to record this. Yep. Yes. And Which, both the of way, the reasons why I had to record it again were my fault because I was stupid. Let me just real quick check. Yep, we're recording audio. Who skipped all that? <laughs> what do we want to rank first, boys? Let's do Whoops. let's do s vampire and get it out of the way. <laughs> let's do vampire? Vampire? Vampire Diaries. Is that what you mean? Di yeah, it's cuz we yes. you've, you're the only one who's seen it and you said it's trash, so we can just rank it at C. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, wait to spoil it for everybody. I, mean, yeah. say, well. I saw, I saw Vampire Night. Um, Vampire Night, I watched because I. It was one of the first anime I watched, and it. Um, I I was looking for shows. I hadn't gotten very many recommendations, so I was looking for something with Bryce Pappenbrook in it. For those of you who don't know who that voice actor is, he's the guy who plays Kirito in Sword Art Online, as well as. Uh, Rin from Blue Exorcist and a, a bunch of other characters. Aaron from Attack on Titan. And I watched this. It was not for me. I'm giving it a double D tier. <laughs> for double those of you D. who didn't notice, here's, here's the ranking system. We have S tier. We have A tier, B tier, C tier. We have double D tier, of course, and F tier. Just so you know, I'm pretty conservative with my S tiers and my F tiers. There are very few shows. The worst show on here that I saw was probably um, Vampire Night. And I don't like giving anything F because it's not that terrible. It just isn't for me. So I'm giving it a, a double D tier. And S tier, there are very few shows that deserve yeah. S tier. You were talking about vampires earlier. You know what else reminds me of vampires? JoJo? JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! I'm getting at it! Least, at least with um the... The Phantom Mask. Phantom Blood. Phantom Blood. That's Phantom what Blood. that's season one. Phantom uh, Blood. So season one uh, was just getting you introduced to the characters. And then season, and then the rest of season one with Joseph, I feel like, was just a filler to get to season two, which was an amazing season. I really liked it. Um, season two itself was an A tier, maybe an S tier. In oh. my opinion, I I really liked it. I liked the pacing. Every episode was unique and fun, but the other seasons were kind of slow. And the thing is that, like, by the end of season two, I had to go back and rewatch Phantom Blood so I could remember why exactly it is that I don't like Dio. So I rewatched it and went, oh, yeah. But because of that, I think I'm going to give it a B tier overall. Sorry, Redditors. I'm giving it a B tier. As far as JoJo goes, the first part of season one was very good, which was Phantom Phantom Blood. It was very well done. I I liked it a lot. I think it brought a fun thing to just to just to watch. It was it was a good thing to watch. I I, I enjoyed most of it. The second half of it, like like he said, it's just kind of filler. It didn't really do a lot. It was entertaining, and it really had were, its moments, but it also had its really slow moments. I was going to say, that that's how I feel about JoJo, though, is that a lot of it feels like a, f a long filler to a big climax, and because of that, it loses itself. 
Because there's a lot of episodes where I can go, yeah, this is kind of filler. This is kind of filler. Even in, what, season two, which is Stardust? Season two, Stardust maybe? Crusaders, yeah. Yeah. Even that had, for me, too many episodes in it that I just lost the point of what we're doing and why we're doing it. Because mm-hmm. it, it, in all reality... You could probably cut. You could probably summarize the entire plot in about six episodes. To be honest, well, more than more than six for the entirety. But to be honest, most of it could be summarized. I mean, it's anime. It's about being big and buff. Yeah, yeah. Which is well, we haven't seen past season two. We should mention that. (laughs) What about you, dumb? Uh, I've only seen like the first half of season one. But I really like the show so far. Uh, it's just it's your tip. It's better dub than or not dub sub than yeah. Dub it too. is for sure, yeah. for sure. You gotta listen to a Japanese version because you know sub's still good. But there's just something about that classic sub where they just go oh it and just like it's just <laughs> it's it's much, <laughs> <over the> <laughs> it's, it's much more over the top. It's just so much more over the much top. Much more. So stuff. you know, yeah, for sure. So speaking, we were talking speaking, about JoJo's and having muscles. Can can I have all both of you flex flex for the camera? Ugh. Ugh. Are you flexing? Ugh. Are you flexing I'm, real hard? I'm flexing uh, uh, real hard. No. But I don't have a camera. I'm, I'm, I'm not flexing. Anymore. But you know what? Other show is all about muscles and beating people up. That's right. I don't know where you're going with this. I, I don't know where you're going. R- with really? This. You're not. You don't know about. Kill a kill? No. <laughs> um, about, does... <laughs> about flexing muscles no. was obviously I'm going to Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Super specifically oh, because yeah. that's the show that I've seen the most out of the Dragon Ball <laughs> franchise. Um, I saw a little bit of Z Kai. I saw Z uh, just briefly on Toonami a few times. So to be fair, I'm going to do just Super. Super I liked. It had a great amount of story, had a great amount of uh, explosions. Of course, Dragon Ball is known for its explosions, not really its story. So I'm going to overall give Dragon Ball Super a B tier. Yeah, Dragon Dragon Ball as a whole is just about beating each other up. Mm -hmm. And for me, this one focused more on that and less about, oh no, the catastrophic city, city is dying. And more in about the epic fights that they get into. Yeah. It does talk about the, the climax about it, so they don't just have like, oh no, if we don't fight, nothing's gonna happen. That that does happen for one season, but for the most part, there's a there's a little bit of a consequence if you don't do something. But for real, it's just it's just a bunch of explosions and I'm I, I like watching it mm-hmm. specifically probably just to be like, uh I don't really wanna start something new. Let's just watch Dragon Ball and watch some people beat other people up. Specifically show, aliens. Show. I, I really like Dragon Ball, by the way. I enjoy Dragon Ball Super. I thought it was a pretty pretty good show. I'm much more of a norm, uh, the original Dragon Ball Z fan myself, just because that's what I grew up with. But uh, Dragon Ball Super is pretty good. And Dragon Ball Z Kai isn't bad either. You know, it's nice to see different than just... You know, oh look, another villain to take us down. Oh no, (laughs) like, he's slightly better than the last, and then you just, you know, new form. He's slightly stronger than the last. I need to become slightly stronger than I am now. I gotta become a second. I need to break my limit once again for the 1100th time. Amazing. (laughs) And change my hair color. (laughs) Right. (laughs) So... I, I teased at this earlier. I, I, I joked about Kill a Kill, but you might as well do it next. Kill a Kill has, I, I think, is hilarious. It's a really funny show, and I really enjoyed it. But there's something that that Dumber's about to explain to you when I'm all done about there's a specific group of people who are not going to enjoy it, Dumber included, for this reason. Yeah. But I pushed him. To, to really watch it because I just we thought it was did. so good and we he doesn't regret it. Do you, dumb? Uh, that much? Yes and dumber. yes and yes and no. No, no. Well, here's the thing. You know, there are the parts that you don't but, like uh, about he, it. it. Hold on, hold on. There are the parts okay. that you don't like about it. But would you regret not having watched it, looking back 
on it. Yes, because you guys spoiled it for me. <laughs> oh yeah, there were the fun. The fun That's things. the reason I want to say oh, yes and okay. no. Joel, if I just watched it, I Joel, Joel ruined it for 100%. me with all the all things right. that were actually good about it. It's true. But anyway, go uh, ahead and finish I your thing. I can't believe that. Anyway, Kill and Kill, your thing. I really liked, but because of the boobies, it gets double D. Wow, really? <laughs> <laughs> no, I did, because, yeah, it's the meme, obviously. Uh, I'm going to give Kill a Kill. It's just so funny. For me personally, it's going to be our A tier. Yes. Number one in the A tier. A tier, baby. Okay. So I'll, I'll go ahead and explain myself. For me, I don't like... This one, sh this show has a lot of uh, things that are just shown specifically. Uh, as we would say in the industry, take old bitties. It has a lot of shots like that, and I get it that it's supposed to be a joke. But I, it, it just for me, I don't think someone self-respecting <laughs> should do that. <laughs> and, what? Joel has no idea why I'm laughing, and that's even funnier. No. That is the point of the show as well. That's kind of the point. Mm -hmm. I hate mm -hmm. it. You got mm -hmm. me on that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he, he kind of forced me to watch it all the way through because he's like, listen, it's so good. So I I did it, but I I, I did cover. Mm -hmm. I put my hand up. Yeah. I couldn't watch mm -hmm. all of it. I, specifically at those scenes, I was like, no, no, I don't mm -hmm. have to watch this. Me and Kale watched this one together because last year, you know, when the the as the game grubs would say the backstreet boys reunion started i went up to see him a, a lot just because you know i didn't have anything else better to do so i'd get bored and we'd watch anime together and we finished our one show that we were watching so we we're like what else can we watch and it was like you know one two o'clock in the morning we're just like hey, sure, this show looks great and then we started watching it and in the first episode we were like oh mm-hmm Mm -hmm. kind of cool kind of funny so we just kept watching and we fell in love with the show and it's absolutely hilarious and mm -hmm. it's not to be meant taken seriously at all there's oh fighting. yeah for sure yeah the show really rips on uh mecha anime specifically the ones where it's just like it transforms like an, like an article of clothing uh and then it's always like the girls in the skimpy outfit so for the for the family members who are watching this and are now disappointed in me, I promise you it's not that bad. Tim just over exaggerates a lot. I I will admit I do because I have a bigger problem with it than mm -hmm. a lot of people will. Yeah, but that's be I just uh, listen. I, I, I'm not that desperate. Mm -hmm. Now <laughs> don't now my uh my explanation for why it doesn't really bother me so much is because of this next show that I'm going to tell you about oh, called High gosh. School DXD, which oh, obviously gets a double D tier boy. because of the big, the tig old biddies. It, I was told to watch it. I had no idea what this was about. No idea. And so I watched it and I was like, oh no, oh no. And so I obviously <laughs> give every show, I give every show the, the college try, the three episodes to get good. And this show actually has a really good story. It it's got a great plot. I I mean it. It's really good. And I it got to the point where I was like, just stop. Stop it with this. Please stop. I'm not interested at all in this. It it desensitized me. And now I that's why I'm the empty shell of a man that you see before you today. If I was gonna give this an honest rating though, I'd I'd give it a B tier, probably a probably a B tier. So Caleb forced me to watch one episode, me not knowing a single thing about it, other than him going, <laughs> <laughs> "Watch it, watch it." So I sat there and watched it. It got to a certain point, and I go, "No, stop it!" No. <laughs> I refuse to watch this. And he was like, "That's fair." <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, the whole reason why I showed it to him was because it was because because I know he hates it. But the problem is that I I can't I felt guilty. I felt guilty. I didn't, I couldn't, I showed him that it was actually a pretty, the tame part of that show. So I skipped to the opening <laughs> so I could show it to him so I could get his reaction from it because I knew that he would be actually upset with me. And I was, I like, was no, actually upset with you that you day. Were. Yeah. And I, I, and I, I would have felt bad. So I, I, 
I just skipped. Yeah, put, uh, put it back down to double D for me. No, I'm not doing you that. Feel better. I have to be honest. I have not seen the show, but I would like to see the show. So I then shut up. I... That makes you the pervert, by the way. Yep. Well, it wouldn't be news. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oof. You know not who really. else is, is a, a pervert? nasty pervert? I can probably guess where you're going with it. I forget where this one goes. A horrible, nasty pervert. Gross. We talked about. Uh... I'm talking about <laughs> or on high school. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, where no, they tell... people, that is not a real thing. It's not real. No, it's not. No, 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 it's, no, no, not. no, no. it's not. I promise. It's just the, the, the one bit where where the twins always call Tomaki a pervert, even though he's not really being a pervert. This is the show that I show everybody for for their first anime. I yes. have showed uh, so many people that I have seen this show. Leave a comment right now. How many times have you Take think I've guess. seen this show? Take a guess. I've actually, we'll like an honest, we'll not like, you, you saw a billion times. No, I spent over four straight days watching it without sleep. If you were to add up how many times I watched it, the amount of episodes and time, I've watched over four days of watching it. I have seen it. 10 times all the way through and I'm gonna need you guys to give me a big drum roll <laughs> this is our first <laughs> S tier it is our S first <laughs> S tier of the night boys confetti poppers <laughs> uh, I love this show if it wasn't apparent by the fact that I've seen it 10 times I love this show this is in my top 3 shows of all time uh, Tim and I have had a discussion multiple times about what our top three shows are, and uh, one of them, uh, actually the two other that are in my top three, I, I have been debating which one is actually in what order it goes, and I wanted to say the one that we're going to get to eventually, and then this one, and Another I was going to say it was, it's. Um, well, I'll just tell you, I, I thought, it. well, nope, I can't tell you. No, it spoils well, just the save it. Just save it. I just should, save it. Just say that this one is uh, is very high for you. This one's very high. I'll explain. I'll explain my what I'm thinking right now. Later, when I get we get to it. It's my turn to talk about my favorite anime of all time, or on High Host Club. Mm. It is amazing. It is great. It is funny. And honest, honestly, it's really good. As long as you remember, don't take it super seriously. But at times, it does get very, very serious and very. Yeah plot important but for the most part it keeps a light-hearted tone throughout it it tries not to take itself too seriously and honestly it's wonderful because of it there's a lot of things that i'm sure people are like ah that's not the world's greatest one and i go listen this is one that i have seen three times and if i can watch something three times and not be tired of it by the by the third time that's a good show and for me i think i could watch this one again and be okay with it. That's just how good it is. And me personally, I think that Oran High Host Club is another one that the fan base is always like, ah, oh, this is so amazing, I needed to see a second one. But it shouldn't have more of it because of just how perfect it is. Mm -hmm. That anything else beyond it would be too much. So they should just keep it at one and then everyone would be happy about it. Yeah. Because it would I mean... be ruined perfection yeah this came out in 2006 so we're not going to be seeing another one i don't think no and really you can't that that's the host club who's who's in tamaki haruki honey senpai mori senpai the twins and kyoya they are the host club and mori and honey would have graduated out of the host club by the end of the show uh, of mm -hmm. what's out so we'd have to get the new members or wait until they leave and that's just something that you just can't do. It just, it wouldn't work nearly as well. No. What about you, Dumb? If you guys want to know how much we love this show, I need you to go to Caleb's YouTube channel and watch the video where he did the bit with Vic, who plays Tom McKee in Oran High School Host Club. And he said the lines about Commoner's Coffee mm, with Vic. The coffee line with Vic. Yes, 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 yes. I paid him money. So I paid I paid Vic money, not a lot of money. He he's a great guy and he he does it. he's he's not like the other prima donna voice actors who charge fifty bucks for their signature. But like I, I paid him to be part of the video where all he does is say, 
if I drink this, I think my father will get mad at me. But what if I let you drink it from my mouth? I <laughs> then I would drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Best money I ever spent right there, really. But anyway, that is oh. how much we love this show. As and a taking a bath fact, in Commodore's Comfy. Yeah, we did that. Fact. I had a discussion about that tonight. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes, literally, so like, you, you took a bath and coffee and go, yep. <laughs> like, Where oh. else would we get such iconic lines such as shake it a shake and the shake and then the brown? And me promoted to dumb. that promoted to dumb. Anyway, we've loved this show so much that it's almost a tradition every time that we hang out that we have to watch at least one episode. Mm-hmm. Almost every time. At least one episode. Just because it's that good. Also, this is one of the very, very, very few shows that me, Tim, Caleb, and Caleb's sisters have all watched together completely and have all said we love it and even made a group chat and named ourselves each one of the host club members. Yeah. Yeah. That is how much we love this show, folks. it's, It's such... I mean... You can't get more iconic than Host Club. It's mm. literally the show I tell people that be like, I don't like anime. It's like, I don't think I could ever get into anime. It's like, okay, but have you tried Host Club? Because let me tell you something. If you watch Host Club, it's the perfect anime to get into. Yeah, we could, we could talk ever, about uh, this all forever. night. Forever. We could really talk about this all night. Every time we start a new show, I'm like, you know, I could just watch Host Club again. But you literally say that every single time. Oh, every single time. But we need to move on so that we can actually get through this list. So Speak, speaking, speaking of, of time. On. So speaking of time, Ultra Stop. Nope, that was already done. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> speaking, of, <laughs> uh, speaking of time. Uh, I was leading towards Steingate. Uh, Steins Gate. Oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> that's what I'm the only one who's seen it. <laughs> yes, yeah. time. Uh, Steins Gate. That's a great show. Uh, Steins Gate. That one I was uh, just told I needed to watch it because I was told it was a really good show. It was kind of like Doctor Who the anime. That's what J. Michael Tatum said, uh, who's the guy who plays the main character Okabe. And I don't really agree with that, but I did watch it, and it's got a great story. You don't really, you don't watch it for the comedy. There really isn't any. It's the story. It's the characters. It's very touching. It's but what I want to watch in a show is something that's got a bit of comedy, a bit of animeisms. So I'm gonna give it a B tier. I know a lot of you are probably going to dis- disagree with me, but I'm going to give it a B tier. A tier maybe, but I think I it gets a it gets a B tier. Better than it's it's above average, but it's not like mm-hmm. really up there. And we're going to tell you that that's perfectly correct cuz we've not watched it. Mm-hmm. But that you told correct. me to watch it and I still haven't done it. Yeah. I still haven't watched it either. I really mm-hmm. want to, but still The, the, the main watched. reason is I don't have it on uh either Hulu or Netflix. And those right. are the normal ones I watch it on for legal reasons. We don't go to the knockoff anime websites and watch anime illegally. Definitely yeah. don't do that. I used, yeah, I used to, of course, because we all have our original. Until we make money and we can actually afford one, and then you instantly get like Crunchyroll or Funimation. Uh, speaking of Funimation, Funimation has their flagship show at the moment, the one that also happens to have the most toxic fan base. <laughs> Out of them all, <laughs> My Hero Academia. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, listen, I, I'm sorry. You know, listen, Academia all fans. of you watching, you know that you you probably aren't the toxic fan base. You really aren't because you haven't left any comments that just randomly talk about My Hero without having it being warranted. Uh, but you do know that there are like the nine year olds who keep talking about it. The reason why I haven't watched more than six episodes of My Hero Academia, My Hero Academia is because of the fan base just like it's so good and then i just was like eh. i i had just finished uh one punch man uh and they're they're really similar in their ideas at least for season one for which i don't watch so i was like i'll watch it later and then everyone was like it's amazing and then they, there's now like four or five seasons and i'm like yeah i think there's six later. there's more than that i was gonna say, i think there's, I think like there's probably more than that but i don't even know hold on and a bunch of movies Pause. Wait, never mind. Keep talking, and I'll look it up. Give me a second. All right. So, because of that, I'm going to give my hero, the first six episodes I watched, 
probably a B tier. It could easily go to A. It could easily go to A, but I haven't seen enough of it, and I should probably have watched more and refreshed myself before I put it on this list, but I thought more people, everyone would be like, no, do My Hero Academia. I'm here. So I, I did it now. Cut it off at the yeah. pass, and then uh, I'll, I, I, I'll do a redemption if it deserves it. I can uh, tell you there are five seasons, but season five just started three weeks ago. So yeah, sounds about right. There are now. Looks like I was right. Give me the beat, boys. Rain my soul. I'm gonna get copyright uh, uh, strikes. You know. Probably copyrighted, so I'm gonna talk over you. About 90 episodes right now. 90 episodes. That's a lot. Not as much as One Piece. I'll say something about this is that I've yeah. seen an episode and it was pretty good, but also I've heard from the fan base that it's also amazing. Like a, a lot of other shows, one of them being JoJo, one of them being Dragon Ball, one of them being Naruto, and of course one of them being One Piece. All of them have very, very devoted fan bases that if a lot of times if you bash them, they'll come back and be like, it's amazing and I love it! And so a lot of times I haven't watched it. Like Naruto, I haven't watched mm-hmm. a lot of Naruto for the same reason of I hear it's, people just love it. And I'm just like, mm, it's a long though. That was pretty, yeah, that, was pretty that was pretty, that was pretty an accurate representation, Tim. Could you do that one more time? No, that's not- oh, yeah, I love it! That's yeah, exactly that sounds, what that every nine right. year old sounds like. <laughs> yep, that sounds you, about right. That's the accurate. That's the, yeah, gross. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I agree. I've not seen too many episodes. I will give you credit. You guys got some good. The show has some good anime openings because a lot of people mm-hmm. show me the anime openings. But the show itself, I haven't seen many episodes of, and it looks like a show where it's like a lot like Dragon Ball, where it's like I gotta increase my power to defeat this one villain that showed up out of nowhere who's slightly stronger than the last. Like it kinda looks a lot like that. Alright, Tim, can you can you make the, the noise again one more time? <laughs> now that's what you sound like if you even think about dissing no game, no life, which gets a solid A tier. <laughs> it, it, no game, no life. I love that show so much. It almost gets an S tier, yes. almost. But there's no season two, so it leaves us off. And because of that, I'm only giving it an A tier. Mm-hmm. It, but I love the show. It's it's amazing. It 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 goes into like a big old mind games of every single game. It's like twists and like loopholes and seeing if uh the if blank will ever lose a game in this new world so i'm giving it an a tier no game no life has a lot of good things about it one like you said is the 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 dynamics of playing games is that there's just more than just uh let's pick x or let's pick y there's a lot of planning and deep development that goes in behind it and it's honestly a, a cool universe thinking about not having wars anymore not having a lot of pain and strife like that, which just games. Mm-hmm. It's really interesting to think about a, a government system only based on that. Not to mention that, like I said, it has a lot of quotes in it too from from video games. I know it has Phoenix Wright. I think there's a Mega Man one in there. There's probably some more. I'm just not thinking of. But it doesn't rely on those things to make it a good show. It relies on its own self plot and the the bond between the people. That really, really set it apart because Blank as a team is absolutely amazing, and they're they're not the the strongest or the fastest, but they are the brightest, and it shows that they know how to be a family together. Mm-hmm. And for those of you wondering, Blank is the legitimate name of the group. Yes. <laughs> for those who like, haven't seen it, we're not self censoring. We're not. So we're not censoring anything. The actual name of the duo is Blank. Well, um, is, it's, isn't it Spacebar? Or, or is it actually the blank. words blank? It's, it's just, actually it's it's just, just yeah, left yeah, blank. But, okay, I couldn't remember if it was a words blank or just an empty space, and they called their team blank. Yeah. yeah. They, yeah, they just, just call themselves space. blank. But anyway, can we just agree that mm-hmm. if we were going to rank movies, that the No Game, No Life movie was probably one of the best anime oh, yeah. movies? There are oh, not yeah. very many anime movies that are very good. Now, that's not saying that this is like, an amazing movie, but the no, no game, no life zero 
is if you're comparing it to other anime movies it's probably the best anime movie out there if you're just comparing it to other normal movies it's always not gonna and it's it's an it's an anime movie not like the live action movies not yeah it's a legit (laughs) anime movie and it's probably the best anime movie out there i'm just gonna go ahead and say that and the other thing i really like about it is that you don't actually need to watch it in order to understand everything that happens in no game no life you don't have to watch No Game No Life Zero to understand No Game No Life. Yeah. But sometimes they throw important plot into a movie. This one, it throws side plot that you didn't really need to know. But you still get a good chunk of things to learn about what the world was like beforehand. Speaking of shows with mind games, I think it'd be great to go on to The Great Pretender next. Oh boy. I don't that, that show totally we close. that shows uh Tim and ours uh Tim and uh, well, we're we're well, watching we, that currently. Well, I mean, we, we finished both watched it, it and we're waiting for the we, next season. We we both watched it separately and then the next season came out we're like, "Hey, you want to watch this with together?" And so we did. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh we're and waiting I for the next season to we'll watch that. Seen <laughs> half of the episodes because of them too because I was with them while they were watching it, so I could. Oh, yeah, you were. So, in in my opinion, The Great Pretender is very entertaining. The entertainment level is is A, is A tier for sure. But I think that altogether, the the story, especially with the ending of season two, I personally did not like at all. So, I'm giving this a B tier. However, just think, C tier is like middle of the road, not good, mm-hmm. not bad. B tier is good, so don't think that it's like it's not that good. No, it's good. It's worth watching. It's really good. Anything that's above a C tier is worth watching, and then maybe anything that's in a C tier, maybe we'll we'll make a case for it. The The Great Pretender actually was. It's a show that I can say, if you just want to binge five episodes of something, watch it because it 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 cuts into cases. And for the first season, I believe there were about five or six episodes. Maybe even four. I don't, I don't remember. But the, the cases that they do are really entertaining. So if you just have, like, it's pretty much a movie. So if you're just like, I kind of want to watch a movie, but not a movie. The Great Pretender is a great thing to watch. I think it's nice. It's also very, very entertaining. And it doesn't, it takes itself seriously, but it doesn't take itself too seriously. It'll still keep it lighthearted in season one and in my opinion if we're just going off season one i'd probably give it an a tier but because it's season one and two two for me just wasn't it was just one long case i didn't like it as much because of that because i preferred the shorter cases because it gave more variety so Mm -hmm. in my opinion the great pretender was good i think you should watch it Mm -hmm. but i don't think as as you say, I don't think it's a must watch. Yeah, it's it's one of the better ones. It's one of the better Netflix originals. It is a good Netflix. Well, yeah, it's probably on the higher tier of Netflix originals. Well, speaking of Netflix, they're all originals, pretty good actually. They're, they're I mean, of a lot of Netflix their a lot of their originals. animes are pretty good actually. Yeah, yeah I, I'll, there's I'll some that are good. Enough. But anyway, speaking of Netflix originals, yeah, let me segue. <laughs> Dumber, let me segue. Speaking of Netflix originals, well, we got sorry. ourselves arguably the best Netflix original, Seven Deadly Sins. I lo- uh, this is a this is yeah. a great show. Uh, in like you have to, it's it gets it's it gets harder to watch the more seasons that come out, and I don't mean that as like each season is worse. I'm just saying that. If you were going to start watching it, now would be better than when another season comes out with another season. Mm-hmm. But if you're up to date on it and waiting for the next season, I was pumped for it. I had a, I had a short video that I told you, like, hey, this next season's out. I'm going to be t- talking about it all on Parlor or whatever. I think it was Parlor that I used. It. Um, I so I am going to give Seven Deadly Sins a, I'm not sure, a B tier or an A tier. I've been giving a lot of B tiers, and like my mind wants to give it an A tier, but it's not really that good. So I'm gonna give it a. Should we? B tier. Should we try to? Give it if you're gonna, otherwise, if you're I mean, gonna, if a you're lot gonna of go shows, for, a lot of shows just give just line up in the B section. I was, just, I was say if you're gonna give one a, an A, I would put Great Pretender, but uh, seven. I was gonna get well. Are, the are, thing are, is that I said that uh, My Hero Academia could easily be an A tier, but 
I just didn't. Yeah, we haven't seen enough of that. Seen enough of it. Are you done talking about Seven? Yeah. Okay, Seven for me, as he says, it's it's turning into that long series like Dragon Ball and One Piece, where it's just more and more episodes, and the more episodes go on, the less likely people are going to start watching it because of how long it is. Mm. Which to and be with fair, those shows, uh, just real quick, the next season that's coming out is almost certainly the last season in the show because yeah. they've run I out think of they tra- I think they confirmed yes. that. They said the next season was going to be the final season. I think they said that in their trailer too, like something about be ready for the conclusion of Seven Deadly Sins. Like I pretty, I'm 99% sure the next season. The yeah, it should season. be. Anyway, uh, Dumber, sorry, go ahead. But it, it, I'm just saying it, it's getting to a point where it's, it's kind of long. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it also developing a fan base that people also are kind of being like, you gotta love Seven Deadly. If you don't, you're wrong. Where it, it it's it's good. I knew someone who pretty much dressed up as the main character, Meliodas. And then I'm, I met someone, but I'll tell that story later. Or I can, I don't know. Yeah, Speaking tell, of characters, Tim, tell, why don't you tell, tell about the tell, coffee shop we went yeah, to? Yeah, yeah, tell about the co- tell us right, where the okay. coffee shop is. So, so it's... And so really said, this is, I went to a coffee shop called the Backhouse uh, Cafe and Tea Shop. Okay, where is that? It's in Williamsport, right next to Penn Tech. Okay. Uh, it's across from a park and a museum, and it has great coffee and teas. But that's not the story I'm going to tell. Like it does actually have great coffee tea. But if you want great tea, you should go to the Dragon's Treasure. The <laughs> Dragon's Treasure Tea also has great tea. And use coupon code Thomas to check out. Flavors. Yeah. Anyway, uh, go ahead. This this man has a majestic mustache. You think oh, of yes. Mario? We're talking about Escanor here. Escanor is one of the characters from Seven Deadly Sins. Yep. And, and he, owns he a has tavern. a power. He owns a tavern. Uh, and this man owns a coffee shop and tea house. Mm-hmm. And he has a majestic mustache. Oh, yes. And the story I'm going to tell is he has pretty much the same mustache as Escanor. Mm-hmm. And one time I went in there at noon because his power, Escanor's power, for those who don't know, uh, is the strongest at noon. Mm-hmm. And I went in and he goes, uh, he has the, um, this like, you buy 10 coffees, you get one, get one free punch card. Mm-hmm. And he goes, oh, sorry, I can't punch it today because I broke it. I just grabbed it really, really tight and it just broke. And it just so happened to go at noon when Escanor is the strongest. And I go, mm-hmm. did, did you break that with your with your bare hand at noon? He's like, yeah, yeah, I did. And I go, Escanor. And then <laughs> Tim proceeded to a... run out the door <laughs> without paying for his coffee. And he was then hunted uh, down by Escanor and beaten to a bulb. <laughs> Almost got sliced in half by his ass. D- d- don't, don't worry, it's behind the mantle. Yes. Uh, <laughs> It was just so funny that he matched up so much with Escanor and that he broke something at noon. It was just a really mm. crazy coincidence. Oh, it's beautiful. And so from now on, that coffee shop is just Escanor's Forever. for us. It's just Escanor's. I, I already don't even remember the name. We just call it Escanor's. But the show itself for me, it's pretty good. I don't think it's an A. I think my one buddy would be very mad at me who loves this. But it's, it's good, but it's dragging on a little bit too long for me. Yeah. Uh, the one other thing I'll say, the one other thing I'll say about it is that I feel like the characters in it are also there's too many characters that they need to level up to make it a really good show. They've been focusing on them because they need to make them stronger, but it's just like I'm tired of hearing about them. I want to hear about the other people. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Go ahead. Uh, I, uh, first of all, season two is not even a season; it's just four random episodes. Yeah. Yep. The movie was not that great. But it's okay. terrible in terms of anime. The movies. second they're making a second movie for what reason I don't know, mm. and all you need to know to be caught up with the show is two simple words, and I gotta got <laughs> get my best feminine voice to do it. Semi-lotus, mm. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> like semi-lotus. That's. Every two minutes. Oh my! <laughs> it really is. Oh yes. my gosh. I'm sorry. I always forget about that. I black it out of my mind. That's how yeah, much I, I know. know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the main female protagonist, Elizabeth. Yeah, I can't. I I started is watching she... it again, and I can't. I never have been able to stand Elizabeth. She's just. I'm sorry. She's to either saying Meliodas or she's crying, and I can't stand it. It's just I. I'm sorry 
she's cute, I guess, but I can't, I can't stand her voice. I can't stand her character. I can't stand the fact that she calls Sir Meliodas every two freaking minutes. Like, if there was an award for most annoying female protagonist, it'd be Elizabeth. That's all yeah, I'm it's, saying. It's a problem. But I you just, know, you know who else has a really annoying voice. Me. Um, I was gonna say every uh-huh. single character in Hitalia. <laughs> oh my goodness! Every, wow. every every character in Hitalia is. For those of you who don't know what a Hitalia is, it's Present. it's basically telling the the world. It's telling world history, but every country is a character, and they all have very stereotypical voices and accents for the country that they represent. And therefore, it kind of gets annoying. But I, I, it's not that annoying. I was just using it as a segue. Italia, <laughs> they're five minute long episodes, but there's a lot of episodes. And it just gets really, it's, I don't even know. I want to give it like a D tier or a B tier. So I'm going to give it a C tier. It is middle F-R-C. of the road. You don't have to watch it at all. I would. It's five minute episodes, so I would suggest that you give it a try and maybe you'll like it. But for me, it's gonna be a C tier. If you're going through, it. if you're going through uh, middle school or high school, and you have to learn about world history, uh, um, watch History of the World, I guess, by Bill Wer on YouTube because you've already seen that. And that got me through my history classes. And then, of course, watch this. This show sounds like a show very similar, which I know some of you are going to call me out for because it also has a decent strong base. But uh, it sounds very similar to Cells at Work. And if you don't know what Cells at Work are, it's a science show about bloodstreams. And in the art style of. uh, It's uh, not for me. I forgot. (laughs) In the art style of Death Note. So we're talking about Hitalia. But Hitalia is completely different. Uh, I haven't seen it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I haven't seen it either. Don't care to see it. Well, speaking of shows. Why don't you cut it if you haven't seen it? Gosh! Guess he was talking about cells at work, and I was like, "Why are you talking about cells at work?" We're talking about. Why did you bring up Hitalia. cells at work? This is Hitalia. Yeah, because you don't even know what you're talking. about. Gosh, slap him down, get him off here. I can't believe you. All right, so speaking, speaking of things we can't believe, th- speaking of things that we can't believe, I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's Food Wars is up next. Food Wars, <laughs> I really, I, I actually really like Food Wars. I was talking to somebody, Um, I was uh, talking uh, to a bunch of people who were working a conference that I was working on as well. That's why they're co-workers <laughs> at a conference. Uh, and we were talking about Food Wars and I was just saying, I love Food Wars. And everyone was like, yeah, of course you like food. I'm like, what is that supposed to mean? And they're talking about, um, well, the overreaction. The big joke in this show is just overreacting, like how anime does. They just overreact to everything. So when they eat good food, they get... Nukopex! Nukopex! People coming home. People are just making food, and it's so amazing that they just... They own. They disrobe. They disrobe. That's what happens. Uh, and so I think that's hilarious. I th- I also think the show is just funny and it's cool. And so I'm gonna give this show uh, an A tier for me. This is an A tier. I I watched a pretty good chunk of Food Wars as well. That was a problem. Uh, but to be honest, it wasn't a huge problem for me because they didn't. They didn't really uh, show honestly, it. They did they cover didn't it up a bit. Disrobe a lot. Oh, a lot no, of times they, they would, but a lot of times they they kind of kept at least what I call the bathing suit uh thing, where they at least had that much on. There were some times where it was like, nah, this is a little bit too much. But the rest of the show was was okay. Um, I, I think that it was good. I liked how they presented it. Uh, it's like a food show because it was a pretty good food show because I, I, I will watch Food Network every once in a blue mm-hmm. moon and so if you like to watch Food Network you might like Food Wars but like once again if you also like me where you're just like uh, needs more clothing 
it might not be the best. Yeah. What about you, I've Bill? only seen about the first four episodes, but I think it's absolutely hilarious. The overreacting is what gets me because it's like, yeah, it, it's a, it's very funny with that. It's just like all of a sudden you're just like making this dish. You're like, oh, that's so ex- like, man, I wish I could make that. That looks delicious. And then all of a sudden you just see the chefs taste it and go, <gasps> boing. Oh, yeah, the yeah, flavor, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the hints of <laughs> turmeric. Now you know. Th- talking about great cuisine, there's nothing that makes me think of good cooking like McRonald's. Ah, oh, <laughs> for those cooking. of you who don't know, in the show Devil is a Part Timer, which is getting in season two, heck yeah, <gasps> yes, uh, bro. They have uh, basically the devil comes into the our devil. world and. Has to get a part time job at Mig Ronald's, which is the copyright free version of uh, McDonald's. McDonald's. So Mig Ronald's, and it's and so he has funny. This competition. Yeah. This the here. Chicken fried place. Oh, Kentucky fried chicken. Kentucky fried chicken. Fried chicken. Yeah. But that's getting really into the story. We're just doing base overview. Yeah. Uh, this show gets a solid A tier, maybe another A. S tier. This is my top. This is in my top five for sure. I don't know if it's an S tier or an no. A tier. A tier. Uh, I personally would give it an A just because we don't know what season two is going to be like. Well, no, no. Forget about season. We don't. We can't. That would be changed with season. Forget about season. This is what's just okay, out right if, now. If, I'd still give it an A. For for me personally, it's an A. It it it's definitely up there. A S. But for me, it's A. Uh, and and by the way, uh, the. Devil's a part timer is the show that I've seen like the second most amount of times. I've seen it like six times. Yeah, you've seen you've seen that one a lot. That's this. Orin Hyos Club is the the one you show everyone first, and then you show mm-hmm. Devil's a part timer second. Yeah, and basically it's not the devil; it's a warlock. It's not the devil. It's no, it is. It's, it's the devil. It, it's the it's devil, pretty, Tim. It's not really. It, it's, it's okay. Supposed to be it's the not devil. our. It's, it's not supposed- like other shows devils, but it's in that show. It is the devil himself with his assistant. Yeah, it's 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 the, the devil. devil. But it's not anyway, a warlock. That, it's a devil. It's the it, devil. It, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that much. It kind it's, of does. not really. It, it doesn't really matter. It they have different matter. versions of it. Dude, it the whole really. point of the the show is that the fact that the devil gets a part time job. I mean, yeah, it's called the and devil. And falling in love with his part time yeah. job doesn't yeah. want to go it's, back it's, it's to destroy the people who are trying to destroy him. But a girl from that world comes and tries to destroy him still. Like who it's all, the whole point of the show. That girl also has an annoying voice. <laughs> We're not here to talk about annoying voices because there's some good voices. Which in that I one think too. is ironic mm-hmm. because she works for customer service. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the perfect customer service voice. Anywho, it's a really good show. If you if you just want something silly to watch, it's really good. It doesn't take itself seriously. The plot is really just the second part of it. It doesn't really matter what's going on. It's just mm-hmm. a kind of a fun time. And honestly, it does kind of make jokes about competitive stores and how that works and how everything works in uh, McRonald's and Kentucky Fried Chicken. But all in all, it's just kind of about not the, changing who you are by moving to a new place, which is something that you can do, I guess. I don't know. I, I really like it because it's silly and fun. And in it, it is creative in how it does its story, but it doesn't take it, it doesn't take itself super, super seriously. And the most underrated character in that show is the landlord lady. Because yeah. she shows them pictures of her in her bikini. And no. it's hilarious. No. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, Speaking of bikinis, bikinis, bikinis and swimming, we're going to go to free next. Free! Free I, I watched because that when it, when it came out and it was the big trend. And so everyone in that show basically said it was... If the high if the host club was a swim club, and I I kind of agree because a lot of the same voice actors are in it, um so that's really mostly it though. It's it's a sports anime. What else can you say about it? It it's got the whole it's got the the beach episode. It's got the horror episode. All the cliche ones, but it's also kind of like eh, like sports anime aren't really. M- my thing because they're dripping with cliche uh, and that's that's a bit much for me so I'm gonna give it a 
another B tier. I, uh, I was boarding I, on maybe C or maybe A if uh, on like the best episode. So B is going to be right about where I keep it. I uh, haven't seen this, but I will say I do like sports anime. I'm not going to say anything more than that. I have seen it. Yeah. And I think the abridged is better. Oh my gosh. The, the abridged to this show. There are very few abridged series. Like, like there are a lot of bad ones that are just sex jokes and swearing and that's it. And then there are other ones that are just amazing. Like there's Dragon Ball, Yu-Gi-Oh, SAO, yep, yep. and yep. 50% free. 50% off. <laughs> off. Because it's not quite free. It's just 50% off. <laughs> it's uh, just, it makes fun of the main, the, the bridge series, without spoiling it too much, it's just making fun of the main characters. I mean, that's what swimming. an abridged series is, though. Yeah. It's just making fun of the main character's love of swimming and taking it to a whole nother level. Like, mm-hmm. It also changes one of the other characters' voice from being a high-pitched voice to just the deepest voice you can imagine. Oh my gosh. The, well, no, it, it doesn't even do, ju, do, it doesn't just do that. It takes the character and then completely flips him around upside down and then just inside out. It's just a completely different character. Washed free and then go wash 50% off mm-hmm. and tell mm-hmm. me if 50% mm-hmm. off is not 100%. way funnier. But anyway, that's all the time that we have for this section of yes of it, of it doing is, stuff uh it is far past my bedtime so you yes, know it's far past all of our bedtimes because we need to get well, up in the morning but yes also it's probably past your bedtime all of you watching this i've gotten plenty of comments saying that you watch these videos at like 2 a.m or even that. in the middle of class trying not to laugh i know who you are Stop it. We will come hunting for you. Unless you share with the class. Throw your phone. Stop it. You share with the class and you you show everyone this these videos. Then don't watch it now. But I feel like the best option though is sharing every this this video with the rest of the class. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this. Thank you. And I I recorded everything right, so Please we'll be doing corrupt. the rest of these. Leave a comment down below if you agree with this or not. It doesn't really matter because it is me, mine. I get to I get to choose. Uh, if there's anything on here, I'll add. I'm gonna probably add a couple of more so that we've got a a few a few F tiers because <laughs> there <laughs> are shows that I haven't finished because they're just so bad or I just yep. couldn't get through them. So Which we won't spoil what those are. Of course. Of Let's course. just say you might want to be on LSD. Let's just say you're going to want to tune in to the next That's episode. That's what I was thinking. All right. The next episode of Dragon Ball Z Kai. The next episode of Dragon Ball And here's a sneak peek of our next episode. <laughs> wow, what an amazing sneak peek. <laughs> Thanks, Peace. future Rod. Amen. Ah,